Right, this is grade three, module five, lesson 17, and this lesson we're just going to be practicing placing fractions on number lines. So here we are told to locate and label the following fractions on the number line. And so the first thing we want to notice is that we're told that we're looking at two, three, and four. So the interval from here to here is one whole. And then the interval from 3 to 4 is, of course, another whole. And because all of our fractions have 3 as the denominator, that means our whole number is always going to be cut into 3. So let's do that. I'll just kind of estimate here. There's 3, and there's 3. So there I have... Um, I've cut our holes into three intervals, or into three pieces, because our denominators are all three. All right, so this hole has been cut into three pieces, and this hole has been cut into three pieces. So now we need to locate where these fractions live on the number line. And from previous lessons, we learned about the whole numbers, that we know that this one is going to be six thirds because 6 divided by 3 is 2 and that this one is going to be 9 thirds because 9 divided by 3 is 3 and lastly this is going to be 12 thirds because 12 divided by 3 is 4 so once we understand what fraction is each whole number that tells us where we can put our fractions that we're supposed to do. For example, 11 thirds. Well, if this is 12 thirds, then that means 11 thirds is right here. 11 thirds. Similarly, uh, 6 thirds, well, oh, shoot, 6 thirds is right here. It's boom, right exactly where it's a whole number. We already labeled it, didn't we? And then the last one, 8 thirds, well, if this is 9 thirds, then 8 thirds is right next door. Or if this is 6 thirds, you could say then 7 thirds, 8 thirds. And there's 8 thirds. And now we have located all three of those fractions. Let's practice again another example. This time our denominators are 4 which means each interval, each whole number interval, is cut into four equal size parts. So I'm going to cut it in half, and then the halves in half. I'm going to cut it in half, and then the halves in half. And then the last one, I'm going to cut it in half, and then the halves in half. So there's, I've cut my intervals, my lines, each whole number, into four equal parts, because the denominators say so. Let's label these whole numbers. So if our denominator is 4, what is our numerator going to be if we want 3 as our whole number? Well, it's going to be 12 because 12 divided by 4 is 3. And then that makes this 16 fourths, 20 fourths, and 24 fourths. So now we're ready to place our fractions. So 20 fourths, oh, that's perfect. That's a whole number. That's 5. That goes right here. So we're done with that one. Let's try 13 fourths. Well, if this is 12 fourths, then 13 fourths is right next door. 13 fourths. And then the last one, 23 fourths, would go right here. 23 fourths because that's right next door to 24 fourths. And then the last problem for this video, uh, Wayne went on a four kilometer hike. He took a break at four thirds of a kilometer, right here. He took a drink of water at 10 thirds kilometer. Show Wayne's hike on the number line include the starting and finishing place and the two points where he stopped. Okay, well, 
since this is a four kilometer hike, we need to go from zero to four. So there's zero to four. Right in the middle would be two. So in the middle of the middle would be one, and then in the middle of this one would be three. So these are kilometers. So zero kilometers, one kilometer, two kilometers, three kilometers, four kilometers. So each one of these is going to act like a whole number interval. And because both of our fractions have three as the denominator, that means we're going to cut our whole number intervals into three equal sized pieces. And then we need to label. Well, a couple of ways we can label uh, these fractions. First, four thirds would look like this. Well, here's zero thirds, one third, two thirds, three thirds. Maybe I should write that down. Three thirds. And so that means four thirds would be right here. Four thirds. Another way we could have done it is just knowing that our whole number interval. So if this is zero thirds, then this is three thirds, then this is six thirds, then over here is nine thirds, and lastly over here is twelve thirds. And we can use division to check that we're right. Twelve divided by three is four, 9 divided by 3 is 3, 6 divided by 3 is 2, 3 divided by 3 is 1. Woo and so now we have our last fraction to place, which is 12, uh, 10 thirds. Well, if this is 9 thirds, then 10 thirds is right next door. So here is 10 thirds. And uh, I'm going to put uh, W for he drank some water, and I'm going to put B for he took a break. And that is our line with the two, pl uh, two points located. And that wraps up our, our lesson. This is Grade 3, Module 5, Lesson 17, where we just continued practicing placing fractions on the number line.